Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, in my last video, I did a video of me painting the frame on a 48 48N that I have. And I just finished up putting it together and here's the result. There she is. Uh, what you see on the headlights and the, the body panels and the hood and all that stuff, that is Rust-Oleum Almond paint that I, that I did. Everything that's red is the uh, Magic Ford Red paint. This tractor originally had the 19-inch, uh, the skinny tires on the front, which is what it... Uh, which originally it come with, but I went to uh, 16 inch wheels. That way you see those holes in the center. I could put wheel weights in these. They're a little bit wider and I think they're, they're a little bit tougher personally in my opinion. Uh, three rib tires on it. Did the lug nuts in red too. 12 volt system, carburetor. I never realized until I put it on there, how much that black exhaust manifold and black pipe pop against that red frame. But uh, before I put the hood on, I was able to do everything correctly, as you see. The uh, 12 volt harness that's, that's right here, I was able to run it and all the spark plug wires through the actual tube that comes down to the front and front mount distributor right there. Uh, it has electronic ignition in it. I, I put that in there uh, last summer. But, yeah, it runs to the alternator. Uh, new belt and fan, new radiator. That's on here. And I got the really nice chrome Ford emblem on the front. Uh, decorative radiator cap. And I also got the uh, same matte black cap or gloss cap, whatever, to match the battery door. Uh, oil pressure gauge, uh, amp meter, new steering wheel with a chrome nut that's on it. I went ahead and I painted the black uh, shift knob. Got a new boot for it. Uh, all the original stickers, I got a, a thing of the original stickers on there, and I put them all where they needed to be, so I, I do enjoy that. Uh, brand new rubber, like I said, all the way around. Uh, these are 12.428 tires with tubes in them. Same with the front. I'm going here in a few days to get these things loaded up with beet juice so I can have the most center gravity I could. Uh, these are the original uh, center rims that are on there. However, these are different outer rims. I went ahead, uh, these were not what was on the tractor. I'll go around to the back. And as you can see, they have loops in them. And it's the same with this side. It's got loops in them. And I had them mount the tires on these rims so uh, I can get the most width possible. And it did. I uh, This tractor now is six inches wider in the rear than uh, it was before but um, uh, one of the different one of the things I did was I changed the PTO seal in here it was leaking both wheel seals were leaking as well um, but I used a press to press that in it was the most feasible thing to do um, I took this cap off yesterday when I fired it up and there was nothing coming out so that seals good so I could run a brush hog, because that's mainly what this tractor is going to be used for. It's going to be used for uh, brush hogging and grading, which is another reason why I want to load the tires up so I can get the best pulling power out of it. Uh, yeah, um, pan seat. I I only painted uh, right there, as you can see. I only painted the underneath because I can't believe I made this video without putting it on there. I have a red and uh, Ford gray seat cover that I'm going to put on it. And yeah, I got the battery in there and the harness and all that. 
new hoses, everything. So, uh, yeah. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. This has a foot throttle on it. Uh, it's a down. It's a Downen foot throttle. It came from Iowa. I got it all hooked up. You see, I got new rods and everything on it. But uh, this oil pressure gauge at the moment is not hooked up. I just have it capped on the line leading up to it. Because I wasn't smart enough to realize that the adapter and fittings on the old one, I needed to take those off to put it on the uh, line for the new one because it just... They're, they're two uh, male connectors. So the adapters I'm getting from Steiner Tractor, they'll be here in a few days. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I just, I'm ecstatic with the way this thing turned out. So I'm going to go ahead. I, I've just had it on slow charge uh, overnight. This battery has sat in this garage uncharged all winter long so I'm gonna have to leave it on slow charge for a few days but yeah go ahead and switch the fuel on turn the key a little bit of throttle and choke and this thing should fire right up Boom. Oh. See that choke out just a little bit. There's still some bugs I have to work out uh, with this carburetor. clamps where the pipe meets the manifold they do not have donuts so what I did was you can see the tape right there I just took regular muffler tape that shrinks down around the pipe when you fire it up so you may hear a little bit of a leak but I mean it's it's nothing compared to what it would be without that Sounds really good. But yeah, um, I got a few more things to do to it, but ultimately, guys, that's that's the project. I spent all winter on this. I am so happy that it is mobile now and I can get it in and out of the garage instead of being stationary like it was. So uh yeah, that's this project, and I'll see you on the next one.